Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Talk about off to the races. There are some stocks that lie the last few days that have done unbelievable things, things we haven't seen since we had, what was it, uh, with an A, That what was that, uh, stock weight, Amigo, what was it called? Iomega. Iomega, that's it, yeah. It's, it, it, <laughs> with, 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 with Basil, Basil is saying here, folks, there, there's no doubt, this is, this is a 99-2000 market. And they actually, 90, it, after, well, the last it's probably the early part of 99 because yeah. the, the general public isn't into this. So these are these are now traders that have just become traders. I think that's the way it looks. Mm -hmm. So, but in at the end of 99, I remember playing tennis indoors, and even on the court, you could they had a ticker so that you could actually see what CNBC was showing yes. for the stock market while you were playing. I remember going to a barber shop. And the barber had his little TV on. Oh, yeah. And it had. <laughs> so we haven't got to that point. But this is very much. I mean, I've been talking about this for a few years. I've been saying to you, this is the most silent, mega bull market I've ever come across. This is the first time we're actually seeing some participation by the general, by the general public. I and, would you know, say. one of the tigers is bringing something up great. That it, and the differential here, folks, is the zero trading cost. When we when we were. Start and that trading costs were huge, man. You Seventy know? bucks. I mean, it was a lot of money just for one to go in, that's and then right. you had to pay that's to get right. out. That's what. That's right. Uh, the, and and that never talk about. Not even talking about the spread. The spread you'd lose uh, either sixty two fifty, one twenty five. Just come into it. That was either a sixteenth or an eighth, folks. In between it. Okay. Th that is, you know, the bottom line. Now retail. You get zero cost, and we're talking a penny-wide market. So it's pretty cool, man. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. Not you know? only that, Tom, we didn't see the prices most of the time. Yeah, you just kind right. of you put in your put in your order. In those days, you didn't. I, uh, some people were sophisticated enough to have an exact buy order, but most people said, "I want I want to go long." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so things are very different, and certainly this instant. What we're looking at here, the instantaneousness of doing everything, and that includes the internet, uh, I media, any particular news item, and that's being reflected in this condensed time. And that's one of the things that I, I've been talking about for a little while, that possibly my contention was that it was a mega bull market that was interrupted by a medical uh, phenomenon. So that means that it was incomplete. And I think that the speed with which we have gotten back, certainly in the queues to all-time highs, yes. is reflective of the speed that is going on just in our general lives. And I think that that's kind of, in the, to, to make it simple, I think that that's kind of what we've seen. We've seen everything speeded up, yeah. but the, the percentage was a 39% on the, down, on the downside. So the percentage is the same, it's just the speed. So talking about the brokers, we actually, we've been long the, one of the broker, uh, an ETF. Okay. And that just about from the day after the low, we ended about 45 some, uh, subscribers were able to get in at 45.65. And it's trading right now at 66.47. Wow, And nice. look, look, look at this pattern. I remember there's a technique that I use called the Chapway stork leg formation. So the stork leg has this long move up from the low of 42.54, and it gets to around about the 50, 56.59 area. And the, the whole thing about this pattern is it must look like an over. So there it is, a very good oval, and then it breaks out. And when it breaks out, that's so. This is the leg. This is the body on the left side. Is the daily chart. Here's the body, and look at the stochastic is holding. The MACD is holding well. Stochastic pulled back, but price held above the nine period exponential moving average, and then it broke out. And we are still long. It's trading now at 66.47. Made a round number 67 high the other day. I'm expecting it to go a little higher. Yes, when this particular pattern breaks out. In a certain manner, it becomes like a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. You can see it in the weekly, but you can actually see that pattern in a condensed form in the Dow, which we're also long from the very day of the low, um, March the 23rd, and then we bought the diamonds as well at about 21,000. Yeah, this pattern. So this is the same thing, but it's getting closer to the pattern that I talk about, what called a Chapman Wave one-to-one -one parallel extension and the reason i call it a parallel extension is that the angle that you go up once you break out after the sideways move and it needs to be an oval it takes on the same 
angle. And you yeah. can see at this particular moment, we've got exactly the same angle. So those are the techniques that I discuss and I go into detail uh, with my subscribers. And of course, you spoke about the webinars that I've done. And uh, it's really important that we you know, peak D, I'll just do this real quickly to show, I'm always looking for four higher peaks from an identifiable low, L label them alphabetically in sequence, A, peak B, peak C, peak D, it can go to E, F, and G, but it's at D that other things can happen. So I'll just move this away and I'll show you something very interesting. Monthly chart, peak D at 29,568, plummets down to 18,213. That's a good example of a D that certainly uh, fell sharply. Here's the D in the weekly chart. The same thing on the week of the 14th of February comes down. So here we've got a leg D. The difference just at this moment is that the moving average convergence divergence is still very strong. The stochastic is way up at 95, almost 96% that, and flat, and that's really good. Every um, every book on uh, technical analysis labels the uh, stochastic that if you're over 80%, that's overbought, and if you're under 20%, that's oversold. I say, no, it's the exact opposite. If you're over 80%, you want to stay over 80% because then you look how many times it's been over 80% and look how the market has risen. You want to be in that area, 85 to 95%. That's good. So, so far, all the technicals are good, but we are at D, so we've got to be a little bit careful here. But so far, everything sort of looks as if we've got a little more upside to go. We are getting, there's no question we're getting overbought, but if we can constantly rotate, it means that there could be a chance in the next three to seven sessions where those little baby stocks like the bankrupt stocks and the, and the ones that we've been talking about with those players, the Robin Hood players, maybe they get to start to have a big, a big pullback and then money comes back into some of the cyclicals that we're looking at. Some of the cyclicals have done extremely well, like in United, uh, U.S. Steel. So I think there's, as long as we can rotate, that means we've got, we've got very good support and we can use time rather than price in the consolidation if there is one. So as I'm looking at it, we're long, we're gonna remain long, we've got some very nice positions. Stock I mentioned the other day, uh, FireEye, if I can get to it right here, and uh, is actually up very nicely today. We've only had a very short one, and it's up about 16%. So we're now going for lower price stocks, because I think we want to be a little bit careful now with our money. And folks, real easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see it right under featured content. You hit subscribe, the opening call. Basil, you have a great night, safe night. Of course, we look forward to the program tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You Th too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.